If you've encountered the message face ID required stolen device protection is turned on on your iPhone, it might seem confusing or even alarming. But don't worry, I'm here to guide you step by step to resolve this issue, so let's dive in. First, let me make it clear that the only method is to give the face ID that you've given in the first place. But due to some circumstances, you may not be able to verify the face ID. Don't worry. I'll walk you through the steps to resolve this issue. First, open settings. Then navigate to face ID and passcode. And tap on stolen device protection. From here, check if away from familiar location is selected. If selected, try turning off stolen device protection. You need to keep tapping on Try Face ID again for many times until the passcode appears. If you're lucky, you may be able to turn it off and reset your Face ID. In the other case, if it's set to Always, or the Try Again method doesn't work, there is one method which can definitely sort this out. The method is to erase all content and settings of your iPhone. I know this sounds arduous, but there isn't any other way. No need to worry, all your data will be restored exactly as it was before the reset. To ensure you don't lose any data during this process, start by creating a complete backup of your iPhone using iTunes on your PC or Mac. Next, erase all content and data from your iPhone. This will reset the device to factory settings, removing everything from your personal files to your installed apps. On your iPhone, navigate to Settings, then General. Scroll down and tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone, and then select Erase All Content and Settings. Confirm the action by entering your passcode and Apple ID credentials. The device will restart, giving you a fresh start. After the reset, you have to reconnect your iPhone to the computer where you created the backup and restore your iPhone. Once the process finishes, your iPhone will be ready to use with everything restored exactly as it was before the reset. After the restore, the stolen device will be turned off as well as the Face ID. You can set up a new Face ID without any issue. And that's it. By following these steps, you should be able to fix the Face ID required stolen device protection is turned on message on your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on more tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.